Well, it's a big day. We got tools coming in with no forklift to go up our ramp. So we're coming to the ML55 again for some help. That's right. Winch on a pallet jack up a hill. I've seen it here first, people. I think I'm just going to have to keep the ML forever just for this purpose. Broke down car, just winch it from inside the shop. Thousand pounds of tools, winch it. The totally normal and safe footage you just saw was from three weeks ago. And you guys may be wondering, Alex, how were you able to restrain yourself from not ripping this crate open to check out your new tools? Well, it's quite simple. The tools were delivered too quickly. They came right away. And then the next day, the painters were painting the entire shop and I did not want to risk any overspray on my brand new toolbox, so I left it alone. I left it all wrapped up in a box. It's been eating me alive. It's kind of like you're a kid, you come down for Christmas morning, all the presents are around the tree, and then your parents come down, and they're like, mm, nah, not yet. Yeah, just, just wait a few more weeks. All these toys you've been dreaming about for months, if not years, just three more weeks. No big deal, no big deal, right? No, it is a big deal, and I have been dying dying to see what's inside of this. But first, if you guys don't follow me at Legit Street Cars on Facebook and Instagram, then you haven't seen the new paint job. So let me just walk you around just for like two minutes because then we're getting right into this. We'll start up in the Legit storage area where I had the shelves painted black. So originally those were unpainted wooden shelves with a white background and it looked kind of dirty, especially with old car parts that are inevitably gonna go up there. So I had them paint the whole thing black. I think it looks really, really clean. And that storage area is pretty massive. If you guys haven't seen the reveal video, uh, you can walk up there. There is a bunch of room. So I'm sure I will have that loaded up with car parts that I'll probably never use in no time. So that brings us down to the wash bay area. This is gonna be the detail bay. There is a drain somewhere over yonder. There you go. Uh, I can fit two cars in this wash area. We can open up the doors, it's quite large. We're gonna have a wand on the wall there for the pressure washer that will get mounted here and then piped up through there. This was a former detail shop after all, so it has some of that plumbing already. But you get an idea of the paint scheme. We went with a gray bottom, a two inch black pinstripe, and then white going up from there. So this is about six feet of gray. And I think that is gonna work really well for not showing a ton of dirt. And eventually, uh, this door is from like 1988. You can even see like a little gap there. I'm gonna replace that door soon-ish. I'm spending a ton of money on this place right now, which is why I sold my Tesla to pay for all of this stuff. But here is the rest of the paint job. So I went with the black ceiling and I love it. Again, if you guys don't follow me on social media, I'd post it up a few times. Like, what do you guys think of this? I'd posted up some examples of other shops. I was a little nervous uh, with the lighting, but in the end, I decided to go with the black ceiling. It kind of hides all the mechanicals, all the wiring and whatnot uh, that's up there. We even painted the AC vents and that is the inlet for the air conditioning system for the shop. And the fan blades are currently off. I'm painting them. They were pretty nasty to say the least. I mean, the dirtiest fan blades I've ever seen. So I have those off. I'll be painting those white. Those will go back up. Um, the electrician still needs to come in and do a bunch of stuff after the lifts go in, but this gives you a pretty good idea of what the walls are gonna look like. So we had taken everything off the walls so they could paint, you can see here. And I think this looks awesome. I'm really, really happy uh, with how it turned out. We're gonna have two black lifts. Everything is gonna match really nicely. And of course, I still need to clean the floor. This epoxy was done just three years ago, but then I don't think it was really ever clean. So I'm gonna get like a machine scrubber floor washer in here and hope that this comes up because the guy said he spent like $8,000 on this epoxy floor just three years ago. And I definitely don't wanna have to redo that. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. It wasn't a mechanic shop, so it doesn't have any big chunks missing out of it or anything like that. And one of the most important things is our new rear overhead door. So this was just a wall. The service door was right around there and it was just a cinder block wall, which this would have been a deal breaker. I wouldn't have bought the place if I wasn't able to install this door because I have six parking spots in the back lot. And without this door, I'd have to drive around the block to get here so you can see the off-road. ML. So they just got done pouring the little apron here 
and it is on a very, very gradual slant here so we don't scrape if I have any lowered vehicles. And aside from being able to get to the parking lot much easier, I'm gonna use this door as the main overhead door to bring the cars in and out because the aisle behind the two lifts has to be open anyway. I can't block this aisle up with cars. So if it has to be open, I might as well use it to bring cars into the lift stalls. And then that way I can keep multiple cars over in that area by the front overhead door and not have to worry about them being moved all the time. So I could store cars there. I could be in the middle of detailing work and not have to worry about moving them. So I think that'll work out great. And then I might just angle the lifts going this way. And I had them pour the apron a little bit wider than the opening so I can kind of angle the cars in and, uh, and hopefully that'll work out because it's only 30 feet wide, so I don't have a ton of room uh, you know, to pull cars onto racks. So anyway, we're gonna make it work. I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm loving the paint job in here. They did a really, really good job. And one of the shops in the neighborhood, let me borrow this scissor lift, I cruised it down the street. It took, uh, I don't know, about 20 minutes to go a block. These things are super, super slow, but it has been a lifesaver to take the fan blades off and the painters use this as well. So anyway, with that, I got a hammer, I got a pry bar. I've never opened a crate like this, but I'm very determined to say the least. So let's get this guy open and check out my new tools. All right, so as you can see, everything is from Sonic Tools. So they are a sponsor of the channel. Very happy to have partnered up with them. I actually reached out to them. So I had two big tool companies reach out to me and want to do deals, but tools to me are like a lifetime investment. So I didn't want to make a sponsorship deal, you know, be the main reason why I went with a specific brand tool. So I did my own research, reached out to them and said, hey, do you guys want to work together? And after speaking for a while, we were on the exact same page. I'm like, I'm not just gonna be like a Sonic Tools fanboy or, or anything like that. I wanna let you know I've used all sorts of tools and you guys have seen those all in the video and they're like, no, that's exactly what we want. We want someone with experience using many different brand tools. So I'm not bound by any craziness to say, hey, you know, all these tools you guys have seen in my videos for four years are garbage, just get these. That's not the case. One of the big reasons I went with these guys is because they are sold as kind of an alternative to the really high-end boutique-y type of tools, but their warranty process is amazing. If you break a tool, you just send them a picture of the tool and within 24 hours, they're sending you a new tool. That is how I think these tool companies should work right now. So I don't have a truck that's coming here. I don't have time to go places. If a tool breaks, I just need one right away. And I think that warranty is awesome and it's for life. Oh, I don't know what's in here, but it's heavy. <laughs> I've never opened up a big toolbox crate like this before, but I don't think it's anything a pry bar and a hammer can't handle. That's my box. Yes. Ow. Here we go. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh man. Oh, these are beautiful. I've only seen one of their Sonic toolbox before and I was so impressed. The reviews are really good. Oh, this is so nice. I love the pinstriping. This time I went with a solid stainless steel top because I've always wanted kind of a little work area right at my toolbox. At home I have one that stores tools on the top and uh, this is just much better. This is how I had it at the dealer as well and I loved it. That way if you're doing little things you can just do them right here next to all of your tools. Um, so right now I gotta figure out how to get this toolbox off of uh, the pallet here basically. So. I think this is just meant to be forklifted off, but I don't have a forklift. So right now I've lifted it up with the pallet jack. So we have uh, the wheels are even further off the ground because this is kind of flexing right now. And these right here, these little wooden platforms hold the toolbox off the ground. So the wheels never do touch. So my game plan here is to get rid of these and get rid of these. That way when I lower it, uh, it's just on this piece of wood which is only, you know, like maybe yay big. And then I should be able to just roll it right off. I have knocked out all the wood I think I need to knock out. Let's go down slowly. 
And it should go this way now, a little bit. In theory, we should be good. Yep, just a couple little humps. There we go. Slowly. Woo! No forklift. Excellent. Haha. -ha. Toolbox is safe. We got it off. Sweet. All right, first time opening the legit street quarters toolbox. Ooh, this is massive. Wow. This is so nice. Not that I'm gonna be moving this thing around, but the casters are beautiful. I mean, this thing just glides. Another reason I went with Sonic Tools is because I'm not that good with tool organization, and that is really one of their main features is tool organization. So they have a foam system, and this will work in their toolboxes or in other boxes. And it's so cool, guys, it's so cool. Every tool has a CNC cut piece of foam and it fits perfectly in there. They're all labeled and you get an inventory checklist. And these are gonna fit perfectly in these drawers and then they sell different size uh, foam inserts for all sorts of other toolboxes. You can just check it out on their site, uh, which by the way, there'll be a link and a 10% off anything coupon code. The coupon code is simply legit and you're gonna get 10% off. That is huge if you guys have ever bought quality tools like this before. So anyway, um, I'm gonna unload these. We're gonna load them up. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes probably and I'm done. I'm fully organized and I never have to worry about this again. It's Christmas in June over here, guys. Look at this. Oh man, this is so cool. It's like instant gratification in buying tools and LSC, I got them all inscribed. You guys can get this done as well. That way, if you lose a tool, if someone at your shop is stealing tools, they won't get away with it. And if you guys ever buy one of my cars and you find a tool with LSC on it, well, you can keep it, all right? I'll let you have that one because I got the inventory checklist. I'll just order a new one and take like a day. All right, guys, here we go. Oh man, I never thought in a million years I'd have something this nice. This is seriously cool, guys. Oh, one of these little do not eat packs. Don't want that. This is great. Torque wrench, all sorts of, all sorts of cool stuff. This is gonna just make life so much easier. Look at how tiny these little quarter drive ratchets are. Oh, this is great. Fine tooth feels awesome and if you guys have been watching the videos as of the last couple months since my V12 engine project has taken over my garage, you know I've been working kind of at a bunch of random shops all over the place. So there were a few of these shops that had a lot of Sonic tools. So I made it a point to use them, check them out before giving them a ring and they feel awesome. And you guys have seen all the other brand tools in my other videos and uh, these are just as good. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. This little stubby is gonna be great for like engine mounts and stuff. Another torque wrench. Oh, I could, I, I could do this forever, guys. I wish you guys could be here right now. Solid drawers. And if you guys saw how I'd organized my tools at home in one of the V12 engine videos before I got it ripped apart, all I did was simply put the tools that I use the most towards the top. So I didn't organize it where we just have like sockets, 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 wrenches, wrenches, wrenches. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. I organize it just by the tools that I use the most. But yeah, so I have all of the 3 8 drive sockets uh, up top. This is the stuff I use the most. And we have all of the e-torques, our regular torques, tamper-proof as well. Um, we have the longer drive ones. We got everything, all the extensions. And then over here would be metric wrenches. So all the popular sizes, including ratcheting wrenches, of course. We got our little stubbies. And then if we go down this way, screwdrivers. I use a lot of screwdrivers. So we have pretty much all of them. These are little pry tools for clips and whatnot. Uh, we have some picks as well. And then I use hammers and punches often, more screwdrivers, little pry bars. This is a big one too. I was kind of debating on having this one higher up. All sorts of different pliers. So we have little shears, two little shears. Awesome. Oh man, this is so nice. LSC inscribed on everything so they can put your initials in there. 
and then half inch stuff. So this is important, but I don't use it all that often and it's just a couple drawers down, so no big deal. Uh, we have half inch like everything. And then these are the sockets so you don't destroy the inside of your wheels if you have nice wheels. Um, I really like those. Another torque wrench, so I think I have three torque wrenches. Um, more half inch drive sockets. These are gonna be for axle nuts and whatnot and just larger stuff in general. Um, and then this kind of stuff I don't use all that often, so it just goes to the bottom. Uh, very useful, these little torque handle deals, having them on both sides is pretty cool. And, oh, we have this drawer open, so one open the bottom one. So nothing in here yet, I'll leave that one open for now. And then we get into our standard stuff. So this stuff obviously doesn't get used as much as metric, so I put it on this side towards the bottom, but we do have everything. So we're a fully, fully equipped shop. This is an important one too. We have some files here, some measuring devices, and then just some more half inch drive stuff. Important, but not something we use every single day. And then we have more of the wrenches. And you guys saw this drawer, but let me just show you something. I put the inventory list underneath each one. So we have that so we know exactly what we have if anything ever gets lost. And this is a game changer, guys. This is one of the big reasons I wanted to go with Sonic. I'm in the shop by myself. I don't have time to go anywhere and go get tools warrantied and fight with people and whatnot. Um, and this is it, this is how easy it is. Um, so you're gonna break a tool and then you're gonna open your camera on your phone, scan the badge to access your warranty exchanges. Um, and then you have another inventory list right here. So I have a lot more equipment coming to the legit street quarters, oil drain, coolant drain. I need a scissor jack, a trans jack. Uh, a table, a bench, cabinetry. Oh, I'm gonna deck this place out. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this little shop update. I planned on making more of these videos, um, but to be honest with you, with all the tradespeople coming in and painting and cutting the wall out and everything, I just got little clips. It was impossible to always be here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like my new tools as much as I do. Make sure to check out the link to Sonic Tools down below, 10% off with coupon code LEGIT. So with that, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.